Hi guys, I'm Sabrina and I'm going to be showing you how you can get this perfect look for a night out on holiday in Tenerife. It's gorgeous because it's got the bronzy in the sky on, you've got the orange in there, but you also got that feline eye to give it that bit of sex appeal. I'm going to start off with a primer. This is the Wow Skin Tan Liquid Glow by 17. I'm going to pump some of that onto my hands. This is really going to help make everything look glowy and radiant. Once I'm happy with that, I'm then going to move on to my base. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I'm going to be using a flat top brush. This is really going to help me pack on the product. And this is one from Zoeva. So I'm going to squirt that directly onto the brush. I don't know if you can see, but this is really lightweight, but it is just gonna help conceal any flaws we may have. Even if you have the best matching foundation, always bring it along your jawline, as we do not want any harsh lines going around the jaw. It's really important that we use primers because you want your makeup to last as long as possible. I'm gonna prep my eyelids with an Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is really gonna help my eyeshadow to last longer and stop it from creasing. So I'm taking that all over the lid and also up to the brow bone as I will be adding a highlighter to that area. I'm gonna now use an orange eyeshadow. I know this can look extremely intimidating, but don't worry, less is more. You can always build up with your makeup. So I'm gonna be taking that on a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna be taking that right into the crease and slightly above the crease. And really bring it into this corner as well. I'm gonna be taking a small eyeshadow brush just like this, but I will be wetting the brush. Now the reason for this is because it will help the eyeshadow to look more like a foil and a bit of a gloss. It really makes such a difference and it's gonna make the gold color that I'm about to use really pop. Press that onto the eyelid. By doing a pattern pressing motion, that's really gonna help avoid any fallout. Now it's time to add a bit of definition into our crease. So I'm gonna be using this matte brown eyeshadow here called Dreamer tapping off any excess product as always. So once again, I'm gonna be blending that into the crease area, making sure I'm happy with how it looks. And as you can see, we're gonna get this radiant from gold to the orange, really gonna give that sort of sunset feel to the eyes. So I'm gonna be using a sort of gold yellow tone highlighter. Now this is from a contour and blusher palette that I have here. I'm adding that straight onto the brow bone. If you just compare it to my other eyebrow, this one instantly looks a lot more lifted and arched now. Now it's time to add some liquid eyeliner and I'm going for a really feline wing. So I'm gonna be bringing it right into the inner tear duct area and I'm gonna be extending that out. I use my bottom lash line as a guide and then I follow the line along and then connect it and fill in that blank area. For the feline part, I'm gonna be pulling in this area here and bringing that eyeliner right in there, just like so. And by the way, in case you're curious, I am using the L'Oreal Superliner Eyeliner. Now we're gonna go back to our black eyeliner. I'm using the MYX Pencil Eyeliner and we're gonna be applying eyeliner just to the outer corner here. This is really gonna enhance this cat eye look that we have and really darken that outer corner. Now for the fun part, add in some eyelashes. I'm gonna be using the Eyelore London ones. I'm gonna go for these really flirtatious, wispy looking lashes because I think they're gonna complement this look really well. Pop a nice thin layer of eyelash glue to the lash line. And never apply your eyelashes straight away. Make sure you leave the glue to get tacky. To actually apply the eyelashes, I will be using tweezers. So I tilt my head back. And place them as close to the lash line as possible using the end of the tweezers to push that into the lash line. 
using the Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Eyeliner to conceal my under eyes. And I'm gonna bring it up ever so slightly to give a natural sort of highlight onto the chin area and on any blemishes. I will be using my fingers for this part to help blend it out. I use the ring finger on my hand here, which is the weakest finger on your hand, which means it's not gonna pull or drag on that delicate under eye area. Now it's time to set that all in place because you want your makeup to last as long as possible. And this one is the Pore Professional Powder. So I like to tip the product into the lid as that means I can just tap the brush in there and I'm not gonna get too much product onto the skin. Make sure you apply the product to your T-zone because that's where you're gonna get sweaty and really shiny. Now it's time to bronze up the skin. I'm using Benefits Hula Bronzer and another Zoeva brush. I'm using a really large brush as I want it to look natural where the sun has hit you. I'm also running it under the neck as I wanna make sure all the colors are matching and I don't wanna have like a really bronze face and then a white neck. Using the same brush I used to set my under eye area, my T-zone, I'm now gonna grab this gorgeous highlighter that I use for the brow bone. And this is a Tarte product, which is from America and I'm dusting that onto those cheekbones. Now for me, this is the star of the show. I mean, look at that shine and that, oh, I love a good highlight. Using the same palette, I'm gonna be taking the contour shade. I'm gonna be using this to add definition into those cheekbones. We all love a bit of definition in the cheekbones. Now it's time to add some colour back into those lips. So I'm using the Rimmel Lip Liner in Spice. And I'm going to apply that all over the lips. I have left the inner area bare as I will be adding a lipstick to help make that look a lot more pouty. Using a pale pink lipstick by MAC, this is called Honey Love. Apply that just into the centre of the lips. And then I'm going to use my fingers to dab it out. I'm also going to grab a gold gloss as this is really going to help intensify that bronze summer look we have going on. This is called Light Me Up and it's by Me Me Me. So I'm dabbing that out once again as I don't want the lips to look really cakey. So that is the finished look. So I'm just going to take my hair out now and you guys are ready for a night out on the town in Tenerife.